Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Valentine's Day. Our last break of the night is going to be 2019 Panini Flawless Baseball. Two briefcase. Pick your team number 51 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our last break of the night. Thanks everyone for getting into the action. These people right here. Pick your team, Area 51. On the 14th, nice Friday night. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Frank, last spot, Mojo. Only one number block team. That was the Yankees. So thanks to him for that. Or thanks to the Yankees for that. Thanks to Frank for buying the last team. Thanks to these people right here for the number blocks. So I forget who suggested. Was it Dave Larson, maybe, or Blackout? Or was it Rex? Someone suggested it, and I kind of went, eh, I don't want to do it. Let's not bother Nick this late at night. But then people were like, hey, if it was there, I'd buy a spot, I'd buy a spot. And I was like, hey, that sounds like 10. That sounds like 10 people. That sounds like 10 spots. So then we did bother Nick, and it went fast. So thank you very much. The video for that uh, randomizer is in a separate video if you're looking for the results. Or like the live randomizing, I guess. So it was Dave Larson and Blackout, right? All right, thanks, you guys. Good suggestion. And a, uh, a willing audience as well. So I appreciate everybody. Hey, good teamwork. Good teamwork. Let's put this right here. We'll do both of those. <laughs> right, SKS did come in blind. I kind of love that. Everyone, because uh, I asked everyone, hey, how many people would buy, just to get a head count, how many people would buy number block spots? And people were like, one, two, you know, three, you know. And then SKS comes in, types in one, and goes, one, what are we buying? <laughs> and I was like, man, that SKS. Love it. Reserve spots now, ask questions later. <laughs> That's a smart way to do it, actually. I mean, it's not like a legally binding contract. You can be like, oh, I don't like that. No, then. <laughs> uh, no third hit here, so there's no, uh, there's no in cleat card or bat or anything like that there. But let's see what we got in here. We'll do the slider box first. No. Oh, my. Wow. I hope he did. Is Brian Peoples here? Brian, wake up. Let me grab, let me grab a slider box here. Oh, there's Brian Peoples. I don't know how many, how many times, Brian, tell me how many times you've purchased the uh, San Diego Padres. I see your name right there. We've done 51 of these pick your teams. This is our 51st one. How many times have you purchased the, uh, the Padres? 40 times, maybe? 35, 40 times out of the 51? Oh, 10 and 15? Oh, I thought maybe more than that. I thought maybe 20, 25. What's one of the biggest things that you were looking for in this product outside of Tatis? You've mentioned this before multiple times. Uh oh, Dave Larson at Padres last case. Sorry, Dave. Yep, Tony. You said Tony Gwynn, right? It's a bat barrel, one of one. Tony Gwynn, Padres legend. Wow, gone too soon as well. I got to put this in one of these right away. That's amazing that it wasn't encased. I mean, Brian Peebles, a a legitimate Padres fan 
And obviously, any Padres fan is, you know, Tony Gwynn is beloved by any Padres fan, let's put it that way. I, uh, I went to college in San Diego, my, my college girlfriend for forever, um, she was a huge Padres, she grew up in San Diego, she's a huge Padres fan, and you know, she always cries, she's like, even to this day, we still, we're still in touch, to this day, she gets tears when, uh, when we talk about Tony Gwynn, she's a big sports fan too, she reached out when Kobe died and she was just like, Man, I remember when Gwyn died and you were there for me. And man, that is cool. Brian Peoples getting choked up now. I mean, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! But yeah, I'm kind of I'm getting choked up a little bit too. Because he reminds me, you know, I mean, I, I love Tony. Being in Southern California, it's hard not to love Tony Gwynn. You know, go, going to San Diego, going to school there, hard not to know and love Tony Gwynn. And just kind of reminds me of Kobe, gone way too soon. Wow, that's pretty amazing. All right, well, let's hope the rest of this is amazing too. Three out of 20, Harvey Kuhn for Hans and the Detroit Tigers. Yeah, but wait, there's more. I know, we still have to do the rest of the break. Four out of 25, Christian Stewart, another Tiger. Great patch up there. Another one for Hans. Man, that is that is that's better than I think. I think that's better than the bat knob because the barrels have you know they pop their name right there. That's sick. There's Josh Naylor for the Padres, sixteen out of twenty-five for Brian Peoples, my Peoples. Brian, do you want us to ship it or do you want to pick it up tomorrow or what? I know you're. it's a little bit of a drive, but this might be especial. Special enough to pick up. 18 out of 25 memorable marks, Matt Chapman. That's for the A's. That's going to go to DeJort with the Oakland Athletics. Brian Peebles saying he probably has 50-plus graded Gwyn rookies. He's your absolute main PC. There's Xander Bogarts, 17 out of 25. All right, shipping team, okay. Yeah, I don't think we've had any, any issues shipping down in San Diego, so I think we should be all right. There's Xander Bogarts. Eastwood with the Red Sox. There you go, Eastwood. 11 out of 15, nice patch. Nice auto, Jeff McNeil. Scott Eckerd. Jeff McNeil might win a batting title someday. And we've got another train whistle. All-Stars, two-color patch and autograph, Charlie Blackman, three out of three. Rockies, that goes to Dave Farley with the Rocks. Dave, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. Dave Larson, no, the sheeping team will not be on this. We are going to make sure that Effie, the shipping sheep, who who is all who is all hooves, will not be entrusted to touch that. Anything that goes wrong, it's the sheep's fault. All right, now the encased cards. On the left side, we've got Aaron Judge. All rise. 15 out of 15 for the Yankees. Number block team. Five. Yankees five. Logan. There you go, Logan. And the other hit here. Naturally, mine not lab grown. It's Phillies Bryce Harper. 16 out of 20, Diamond. Oh, 
That goes to Scott Eckert fighting Phils. But wait, there's more. We got one more briefcase to go. I still can't believe that Tony Gwynn bat barrel. Bat knob in this one says Jeremy Anderson. That that would be a hell of a case then. That would be a hell of a case. All right. No third card, but let's do the middle card. It's kind of weird. The auto is on this side. It's usually on this side. I'll go this side first. I kind of noticed the auto over here. All right. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. We got three out of ten legends, Roberto Clemente. That's pretty cool, too. Piece of his lumber. Hans with the Pirates. Four out of ten, Corbin Burns. Some great relic in there. Some nice colors. We got some of the old colors, old Brewers colors, and some new Brewers colors there. That goes to Hans and the Brew Crew. There you go, Hans. Nine out of 20, Kyle Hendricks. That goes to Shane and the Cubs. Oh, that's Cody Bellinger. Oh, speaking his mind. I like that, Cody. Shane, Cubs. Then we'll go to the south side. Eight out of 25, Michael Kopech. Dual relic and autograph for the White Sox to Jork with that. Yeah, do so, Brian. I think people would want to see that collection. Thirteen out of fifteen. Josh Donaldson, which kind of looks like Blue Jays colors in here. But this will go to go to Atlanta. That'll go to Jeff Peace and the Braves. The Dodgers talking here. I like that. And speaking of the Dodgers, there's my guy right here. Four out of ten, Walker Buehler. I think he's gonna have a big season this year. Try to get him on my fantasy team, unless someone already kept him in a different team. That goes to Scott Eckert. And the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dem bums. Dem bums. Hopefully not this year. All right, there you go. Nice. We got a train whistle. Roger Clemens. Three-color patch and autograph. Four out of five. That's Roger Hoynes, Eastwood, with the Red Sox. This is nice, too. Look at this. About to come up here. There you go, Roger. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, everyone, can everyone kind of see that batting stance? Can you guess who that is? Oh, you might see it now. It's Mike Trout. 11 out of 15. I think his autographs are exclusive to Tops, but there you go, Johnny. Dual relic. You got a, looks like a laundry tag up there, a piece of, maybe a QR code from a laundry tag, something like that. Retail tag, perhaps. Piece of his jersey. All part of the jersey. Game used material. 11 out of 15 goes to Johnny Cannon. Nice. All right. So we're, I saw the autograph here. We're going to go. I peeked. We're going to go right side first, then the auto. There was no third card here. All right. So on this side, we got the lab 
uh, not lab grown, naturally mine, not lab grown. We've got Javier Baez, two out of 20. Diamond. Going to Shane. And the last hit. Now, I saw the name, but I don't know what team. He's played for a couple teams. Don't know what team he could be on. It's it's Ken Griffey. What a case! Ken Griffey Jr. Seattle Mariners edition. Five out of twenty. That is nice. That's the that's the picture right there. There it is. Look at that. Who has got uh, the Hans has the Seattle Mariners. There you go, Hans. Hans has been patiently waiting for this break to happen. Good finish for you, sir. And a great finish for this is a, a an excellent case. Brian Peeble saying, never been happier not hitting a Tatis. That's amazing. Some good stuff. Thanks everybody. That was our last break of the night. Pretty incredible. Great way to end it. Break number fifty one in the books. Um, I didn't see any more flawless cases in the back. Maybe they're hiding somewhere. Maybe Nick's getting more. I don't know. But keep checking back on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.